Ah, don't pretend. Don't pretend for me. Yeah, it's um, we've come down to uh, Sunny Beach this morning, and my God, it rained like anything last night. We had heavy, heavy rain, and it's gone extremely cold. It's very windy, and it's it for freezing. So I've got my jacket back on again. But well, I've been swimming in the sea this morning with Paddy and the puddled up. Yeah, Susan's been out in the sea. I'm not out in the sea. Well, I've been drinking chilly. coffee. So anyway, we're going down to the front because there's loads of new paving as uh, guys working down the front and they're taking the sand barrier away. To say a few days ago that that will be going shortly and there's a digger down there working. So I'm going to show you what's happening down at the front. So preparing for the season. <laughs> Can't wait for the season. Can't wait for it to warm up. My goodness, this is cold today. It's absolutely freezing. What a change. And March is actually, uh, Babarata is a, a spring. It's an old, is a lady, a cantankerous woman, older lady who has tantrums. And March is certainly living up to that now because we've had, say, fantastic sunshine last Friday out with a shirt on. Today you want your thermals on. It's gone really cold. But in a couple of weeks, it's all going to change. Be very pleasant again. Start the season. So, as you can see, down the bottom here, there's a skip and some guys working. So I'm going to show you the show you the front again. What it's like today. I did say in the last film, central bar. It's virtually the first one to open along here, and uh, there they are. They're actually repairing the decking this morning. They've actually opened that up and started on it. It won't be long before that one's up and running. Ah, so here we are at the end of Flower Street where it re reaches the promenade, the, the front as such. And um, the paving here was getting very ropey. And there we go. There's all the new slabs. So this area is another one being repaired. Uh, so they've got the, the JCB here. It's been, there was quite a few got, uh, guys working here earlier when we first come, come for a walk this morning. Quite a few guys. And there are one or two shops actually opening up now. There's a lady here doing the clothing. She's open. So trading has started. <laughs> Instead of that, you can buy a hat or a bikini if you're brave, ladies. I don't think quite bikini weather yet couple of weeks to go. Although I've been swimming in the sea this morning. You said that already. <laughs> she won't, she won't let me forget. Better. She's not going to let me forget that she's been in the sea this morning. And unfortunately the wind is quite strong. So the gusts are 24 miles an hour. I think they are. It's quite strong in the wrong direction. But tomorrow we might get out on the paddleboard because the wind's going to drop. So I might get on the water myself. <laughs> As you can see there, so the stalls are starting to open. Uh, there's quite a few sort of stall holders stocking up and uh, cleaning up. It's not long to go now for things start to happen. And it's been on a lot of the Facebook groups uh, this last week that the uh, first hotel has announced on the front that it's opening date which is actually the 10th of April which is very early uh, it's going to be the 16th of April which is the Orthodox Easter when the Bulgarians are on holiday they come down to the coast and a lot of Romanians drive down so it's then worth one or two of the hotels actually opening a bit early so that's going to be like the wave resort is open, 16th. Also, uh, this is the back of the Globus. <clears throat> Nothing happening at the front, but the back, my oh God, there's pallets everywhere. The reception's full of pallets. There's lorries in and out. That's the second one we've seen in five minutes, skip lorry. So obviously dropping a lot of material down from higher up. And uh, looking at the car park, 
and the cars there's a lot of guys working in here oh you never know it may be ready at least there, uh, there's activity at the globus well we should call it the sheraton because it technically is the sheraton now but it's still badged as the globus haven't changed names ah all over sunny beach at the moment the stalls are being uh, refurbished new stock and one of the things they're doing is they're throwing out hundreds of mannequins it's all these plastic mannequins here and uh we were walking the other day and i thought oh, i've got a bit of an artistic bent here oh, i've got a bit of an artistic bent i've got to try something so um i've got a couple of these busts and I'm going to get some uh, stone paint, stone effect paint. I'm going to try and make my own garden statues on the cheap. <laughs> Bulgarian style. Small plastic I'm not paying for. But I hope they're going to look really good in the garden when I'm finished. But they're everywhere, all by the bins. There's just hundreds of them. I don't know if they're going to have new mannequins of a larger size to uh, better represent the population nowadays. People have got a bit bigger on the whole. <laughs> Most of those have a six pack. They look very fit. Uh, there we go. Phew. I've got some few sort of scattered clouds. And the wind is so strong that you're going from sunshine to cloud really quickly as the as clouds are flying over your head. Well, it's just so different to a couple of days ago when it's absolutely beautiful. And it's really gone downhill. <laughs> they do do they do do a fair amount of paving every year. Sometimes you look at it and go, do they? <laughs> they do do a fair bit of paving every year. This is at the side of the Glarus. There we go. The Glarus it had um, a rough bit of land here, sort of grass and a few trees um, a month ago. They've now cleared that. It looks like it's going to be a car park or something there. But the pavement, here's all the slabs lined up. So a load of new paving going in down this road. There we go. More flooring work. Uh, right, I've got a really about a month left now to get this work completed. And uh, this is the, uh, behind me is the, uh, the Largo Hotel and uh, this is the one that's announced that it's going to be opening first on the front and this is on the 10th of April, uh, which is very early um, and the chap is at the top, there it is on the roof there, putting the signs up, preparing to open, putting the name back. I've started on this one now, so it's only a couple of weeks and uh, the Largo Beach <laughs> is going to open. So first one on the front, 10th of April they have said. That is really very early. I had lots and lots of messages from, um, from people last week and comments and there seems to be a lot of people coming out on first week of May. I mean, a lot of bars do open on the beginning of May, quite a few open, but it's not really a tourist season until the middle of May. But this year, there's a lot of, a lot of people are coming at the start of May. Just going to make, it in, make the start more interesting. It'll be, inter it'll be nice to see which bars open up first. Yeah, it's interesting to see which ones are there. It's like he's got some new mannequins this year. Oh, a new stock. <laughs> oh, strange heads. Very arty heads. I haven't really got faces on, they're just like sort of alien mannequins. It must be the latest style for 23 season. And they're throwing so many old ones away that it's kind of, it's all changing. 
and there's a lot of work still going on so in the hotel we haven't got many weeks left this one here this was stacked with tiles all the way along the hotel i've been retiling this one opposite the casino a lot of work in that one nearly finished because not many tiles left now so i finally up to gingers so a lot of the regulars in Sunny Beach will know where I am now. Ginger Bar and oh, no. always looks very, very pretty in the summer. It's nice chairs and it just look good. Now, so we're now filming at five minutes ago. I was in really dark shade. It was really, oh, I felt cold and miserable. And then I say the cloud's gone. Now I'm in gorgeous sunshine again. And these clouds are moving very, very fast. Well, I've actually come to have a look at is the barrier being removed? <laughs> found it the other day. So here we go, here's the uh, caterpillar taking the barrier down. I filmed it when I put it up in December. Uh, really, the, the sign of winter coming is the sand barrier being constructed. And spring is arriving because the barrier is being removed. There it goes. So we basically end up with this eight foot high barrier of sand to protect the beach bars from storms and bad weather runs the whole the whole length of the bay it's massive and then right now they're not forking any bad storms and they need to get this leveled and clean so that they, put, they can put the lounges out and the brollies so to get it all level again and they started up there this morning see up there going towards dolphin beach it's cleared this section uh, it's going to take him a fair amount of days to actually get the whole thing done. It's a really big job. Right, here we go, here's the digger. Working away here on the beach. Obviously making it uh, suitable for bathers again. So you can actually get to the sea. Wow. So it's actually quite a big job. Yeah, he's got two or three miles here to, uh, to actually cover, to flatten the barrier. It's a long job. So I hope he's got a good flask of coffee with him today to keep him going. <laughs> well, it's probably nice and warm in his cab. And I always show this, whenever the digger's working, you've got the guys with the metal detectors because he's churning up fresh sand. They might just find that gold watch, that medallion, <laughs> you never know, but I think they've, they've done this beach so many times now, I don't think there's a lot left. Apart from a rusty tin can, if anything, they're going to find. Money! Oh! <coughs> Guy says he's finding money this morning. That was me thinking they're going for gold medallions, he's just getting a few coppers, a few coins. He's happy with that. From the, it's uh, from the very, very flat sands of Sunny Beach. Well, there will be flat when this guy's finished with his bulldozer. <laughs> it's uh, ciao ciao for now. Ciao ciao from this lovely beach.